Hey, so finally got it finished. Finally got the enclosure, everything done. Second part done. This is the assembly of the Lazy Dad DIY electric skateboard. <laughs> space in here just so I can, I'm going to be cramming a bunch of stuff in this tiny enclosure. I want to make the enclosure as small as possible. I got this kind of waterproof gasket that uh, when you, where you tighten it down, it really comes down pretty close to about a quarter of an inch or I can probably get it even tighter, eighth of an inch. The hub motor is going to be on this side, so the, the wire is going to come in here. This will go so it'll look kind of like right there, coming off the back. So at this point, I'm going to be forming the edges of the enclosure with uh, to match the concave of the skateboard. I'm just gonna use the, a heat gun and my uh, Black & Decker workbench to uh, heat it and then, and then kind of bend it and heat it and bend it to, uh, to hopefully get it to match that, ca that, uh, that, that bend of the board. So, what you can see here is a little bend in <clears throat> the enclosure. So this is like the back of the enclosure. This is the hole that I'm uh, that the uh, a lot of the engine cable, the motor cables are going to come out of. And there's a little bump. You can see it. It happened with the um, with the heat gun. I just got it a little too hot right there, and then as I bent it, it curled over. Uh, not too much of an issue. I. Um, I plan on putting a little strip of like um, door, like weather strip in here. And so that's going to be fine. I mean, it's not, I'm not too worried about it. If it gets to be an issue on, you know, getting it tight with the screws, then I will either shave it down or I'll just heat it back up again and clamp it and get it straight. So, but I'm just going to go ahead and move, move forward from, uh, from here. This seems fine.
ended up breaking off all but four of the little, um, these little like knurled tips, uh, little thumb screws that um, they keep them on. I would basically fill those in, or screw those, screw those into the wood inserts, and then use those to drive in the wood inserts. And um, by the time I got to the bottom of it, it just would rip off the top, rip off the little, the little uh, thumb screw part. So, uh, you know, just back up to the hardware store. found what I still have left to do is I have to, uh, what I'm going to do is kind of Velcro everything together to each other so that whenever I do take it off, it's not just going to, you know, flop. Everything's not just going to fall all out and just hit the floor. So I'm going to do that. And then I got to put the trucks back on the board and then that's it. I'm going to go for a ride. That'll be the next video. Thanks for watching.